Welcome back to Color Me Impressed. Today I am here to do a tag video. This is the Colorist First Tag. It was originally created by Jojo from Jojo's Coloring Nook and I was tagged by the lovely Danny Buttons to complete this tag. I think this is a really good video for me to work on considering I'm relatively new to the adult coloring community and my YouTube channel is brand new. So I think this will be a great way for everyone to kind of get to know my journey in the adult coloring world. So I think we can go ahead and jump right in. The first question is, what was the first coloring book you bought when you started adult coloring? And that would be this lovely gem right here, Home Sweet Home by Teresa Goodridge. This is a popular creative haven book, especially for those that like Teresa Goodridge. Very pretty, cozy pictures that are typical of Teresa Goodridge's really cute style. Um, I actually found this book when I was looking for new hobbies to pick up during the pandemic. I kind of remembered the existence of coloring and I didn't know that there was any other type of coloring besides the sort of childish outlining and then coloring in lightly in the middle type of thing, which is how I used to color. But then I happened to come across this book on, I believe it was Target's website, and I wanted to see what was inside it. So I had Googled, I think just, you know, this coloring book. And I that was literally how I found Color Tube is I found somebody doing a flip through of this book. And from that day on, my life changed. I got obsessed with watching Color Tube. So long story short, this beautiful book started my coloring journey and my foray into Color Tube. And I think the, I, I've only done one page in here and it's this. Um, I, I did this with the Crayola 100 pack of colored pencils. I think I chose just some random color palette and went with it. It has its issues, but it was a good, good first effort. Um, and that answer kind of leads me to the second question, which was what is the first supply you bought? And that was in fact the 100 pack of Crayola colored pencils. I kind of thought that's what everyone used when they colored. Of course, I knew that there were artist grade supplies, but I didn't realize colorists used them. So that was just, I think I actually ordered this book and then I also picked up the 100 pack of colored pencils from Crayola. So that's what started it all. The third question is the first non-budget friendly set of colored pencils. And that would be a 36 set of Prismacolor Premieres. This is kind of terrifying for me because I don't like butterflies, but I was gifted this by my mom for my birthday this year. And I just loved how buttery soft they were and everyone always raved about them. So I just had to pick them up and I really did and still do enjoy them. I've since, I think I bought a, a 48 set or maybe it was a 72 set. I think it was a 72 set when they were on sale. So those are really nice to have. But then as an extension of this question, I also had picked up the Polychromos as well. I think it was just a 12 pack that I picked up and ended up liking them a lot more than the Prismacolors simply because I'm more of a layerer, if that's a word, and the Polychromos layer a lot better, I believe, than the, the Prismacolors. So it's nice to have both, but I do primarily use my polys at this point. And you know, this was a, a huge purchase for me, but it was very comforting to have during quarantine. It was probably the happiest day of my life during quarantine. So well worth the money. The fourth question is the first hardback book that I bought. And technically, this was gifted to me, but this is the Spirit Animals by Hannah Carlson Coloring Book. I adore this book. I think I put it on my wish list after I saw a lot of flip throughs of this on Color Tube and a lot of people like Chris Chang coloring in this book. So I knew I just had to have it, and I've 
only colored one page in here and it took me forever. And it's uh, the Foxy Lady page. So I had a lot of fun doing this. I tried a lot of different techniques and you know, looked up reference pictures and things. So it was definitely a very long project for me, but there it is. I think I did a combination of Prismas, Crayolas, um, some gel pen, Posca pen. Threw everything at this page. I think the background is eyeshadow. So that's the first hardback book. And I believe it's the only hardback book I have at this point. The next question is, who was my first buddy color with? I don't think this is a surprise to anyone, but my first buddy color was with the lovely Danny Buttons. I feel like I called her that before, the lovely Danny Buttons. That's her new name. Um, so let me try to find our buddy color. We did this in Hannah Lynn, Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. I had just gotten this book and I don't know if I had just messaged her on Instagram being like, hey, I'm a creep, what's up? And she's like, hey, do you wanna do a buddy color? So we did this sock hop girl. Yeah, I, I think that's, that was the beginning of a beautiful friendship, as they say. The next question is the first color tube channel you started watching, and that would be Peta Hewitt. I found her, um, I think, coloring a Hannah Lynn picture, and I watched it over and over again because I was just so amazed by her skills. So I think that was where it started, and then I just kind of went off of the recommended videos from there into ColorTube. I kind of already answered this question, which is the first page you colored, but I'll bring it back again from Home Sweet Home. Um, yep. This page, I won't linger on it too long because I tore the page and it looks really bad. So that's about it. The next question is the first portrait picture you colored. That is in another Hannah Lynn book, Whimsy Girls at Work. This was my first Hannah Lynn book that was gifted to me. And I did the cover image, wherever that is. The Rosie the Riveter page. I think this was my first time coloring with a Copic marker for the skin and I went over it with Crayola. I had a lot of issues <laughs> with this page, but it all turned out fine. So that is that. The next question is the first grayscale picture I colored. And this was a freebie from, I believe, how you pronounce it as Lenka Filanenko. And this is just a PDF I printed out. And I highly recommend signing up for her newsletter to get some of her freebies because she's really talented. Um, again, I did this with a Copic marker for her skin. And I believe I did Prismacolors and eyeshadow for the background. So I was really proud of this when I first completed it. It's, all right for a first attempt at a grayscale, so that was fun. The last question, question number 10, is the first ever completed book I did, and that was this Color Count Celestial book by Mindwear. Um, I discovered this book from Lisa's Coloring Corner. She really likes these Mindwear books, and I do as well. This is the only one I have. And since it's finished, I need to get more. Um, I'll probably do a flip through at some point, but this is kind of what it looks like. I used Crayola Super Tips and I completed this whole book while binging all seasons of Riverdale. So <laughs> that was fun. Um, the bonus question is the first coloring tag you participated in and that was actually very recently. It was Danny Button's Coloring Scavenger Hunt number two. That was a lot of fun. And I hope to do more tags like this. I think I will tag a few people to complete this tag since I would love to know more about their coloring journey. 
So I'm going to tag Misty at Country Gals Coloring Place because we have done a few buddy colors and she is so encouraging and so great. Um, I highly recommend her videos, so I'll leave her link down below. And then I'd also like to tag Lisa at Coloring My Way. So we are relatively new at following each other, but she has great content on her channel and I know we follow each other on Instagram, so I would love to learn more about her. So Misty and Lisa, you have been tagged and I'm excited to see your videos. Thank you again to Danielle, Danny Buttons for tagging me in this video. It was really fun.